Hey guys, so it's it going? Mr. Musical Matt here. I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way of how to install custom firmware onto your PSP. The firmware I'm using today is 6.39. So, first you have to make sure you run 6.3.9. You can do this by going system and then system information. You should set there. Version 6.39. So, so now you're going to need to have your computer ready. So first, you want to download the link I give in the description, which is going to be this. And now you're going to need to click on the first link. Download. And you can uh, save it somewhere where you can access it easily. So I'm going to quickly drop it to the desktop and then quit out of this. And now you need to use an uh, extraction program to uh, unarchive it. So I'm using Unrar X you can use WinRAR if you're on Windows. So you don't need this RAR file anymore because you've got this and inside the RAR folder was five folders. Now we only need one. We need this one. So all these others they can go. Now this folder is important. This needs to go onto our PSP. So we need to connect our PSP to the computer. So you can use a USB connection or a micro adapter. So let's plug that in. It should go to USB mode. And here's the PSP. So open it up and open the PSP folder. Go to game. And remember the folder that we said was so important, this one, just, just drag it and drop it into the game folder. And then you can get rid of the pro update from your desktop and uh, disconnect your PSP from your computer. So now, we only need this, our PSP. So go to game, the memory stick, and you should have this, just boot it. I'm going to hold the camera to stop the lines appearing on the screen. Now, up here, you should have some options. Stupid auto focus. Okay, thank you. And it is press X to launch the custom firmware. Press triangle to uninstall the custom firmware, hold L to reinstall the custom firmware, or press R to exit. Well, we don't have it installed, so we can't uninstall it, or we can't reinstall it, and we don't want to exit, because it'll be a waste of time. So we can click X, it should say what PSP you've got. That was stupid to me when I do that. Let's say completed and then just click X again to start the custom firmware when it says you can. Should reboot. And now you can go to system settings. Back to system information. And 
Euron system 6.39 Pro B7 and it even hides your MAC address. So this has been Mr Musical Map showing you how to install custom firmware onto your PSP. I hope this helped. Uh, please like, comment, favourite and subscribe to my channel. Bye.